What's up guys? Techie Rod here from Techie Rod's Wire and I will be switching cases today. I have currently using the NZXT810 switch and it's a huge case. It's dummy well but I want something a little smaller, something a little low key and um, so I went with the Fractal R4 all blackout edition and as you can see I have it right over there at the door it just came in the mail today so I will go pick it up and I will bring it over here Fractal Design R4 and um, so we'll go from there right now using the 810 switch and I'm going to take everything out put it in that and we'll go from there all right so let's unbox it Pretty big. Ah. Ooh, is it upside down? Or what? I got shocked. Something shocked me. So, it's a big case as we already know. Uh, all it is, it's just like upside down. See if the camera's getting this. Yeah, the camera's getting it. Nice. Wow, look at that. The, the size difference compared to the. Oh, but it's upside down. Oh, no. I'm not sure. Looks nice. Looks really, really nice. Oh, look at the difference in the size compared to that. Ooh, I can't, can't believe I'm going to get all my stuff into this case. So look at just the height difference alone from the R4 and the 810. Wow, this thing feels so nice though and sturdy. Look at that. Check that out. Just what I wanted. See that gap? That's like five inches right there. Five, six inch difference. Looks official. Looks nice and clean, bro. Look at that. Got the little padding in there. Oh, this is gonna be so nice on my, on my desk. I'm gonna have so much more room. Nice inside. Oh, it's even got like this padding. This padding inside right there along the side panel. It's like a carpet almost. That is nice. Wow. It's definitely a pretty, pretty case. All right, so we're going to start taking stuff apart. And All right, so hopefully there. everybody can see this. I had to plug my camera up to a charger because the battery's going dead. So, so far I've taken the 780 out. My GTX 780, I took that out. And we will go from there. So, let's get started. This thing is huge. I don't even know where to begin. I have my anti-static gloves on. Um, I don't really like the, the wrist strap thing. So I wear my anti-static gloves and that's good for me. But I wear them to a certain point. I don't wear them all the time. I don't have static on that, but I just don't feel the wear of the be honest with you. And I'm not worried about carrying static and current and all that. So Taking out the power supply, or at least I'm going to be disconnecting a few things. USB 3.0, USB 2.0, all these are like case headers. Oh, that was a fan header. I'm going to put it out like that. HD 
prop 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 prop. So we're gonna put this fan on top here and we'll use this as an intake to bring in cool air from on top. Clean off my fans. Four line is the best for four line. They want that dirty in the first place, but building a computer, these fucking clean up all your fans, you know, don't have to have to do it, you know, put everything back in your computer, alright, all right, so I, I might have to stop this right now, I get everything in there yeah so I'm gonna stop this right now and I'll come back when I get everything installed all right so far we got the so far we got the motherboard in fan CPU cooler and we are looking good right on time got a few more pieces to put in And we'll be good to go. It's good. All right, guys, there it is. Finished product. Ah, boy. Not bad. Still gotta work on some wiring, but not too damn bad, not too shabby. Took out that big hard drive cage right there. Just enough for my tool hard drives and uh, that is it looks good and we will get them booted up and going